38. This is lab 38, which is station models. On a weather map, we have station models to show a lot of information, information in a small space. Okay, And I'll be switching over to the lab here. Um, you will also need FRED, page 13. Okay, At the bottom of FRED, page 13, never mind that, you will see this right here. Okay. Keys to the weather map symbol, station model explanation. Okay, much smaller than this, but this is what a station model would look like. Okay, this has what all that means. Okay, so we'll be using this throughout the lab, but remember on a, on a weather map, the one on the left is the one that we're going to be looking at, or how it would be drawn on a map. Okay, so I'm going to help you do a couple of the things here. Okay, so there's a rule here that we'll follow. This is the three-digit code for barometric pressure or air pressure. Okay, it's abbreviated. There's a range here that air pressure can be. So if that number is less than 500, okay, we are going to stick a 10 out front. This will make more sense in a second. And if it is greater than 500, we'll put a 9 out front. Okay, and then I should have put this first. Probably we need to add a decimal place. Okay, so for this first one, Okay, we start by adding the decimal place. Boom. Okay, that becomes 27.5. Okay, but the 275 is less than 500, so we're going to stick a 10 out front. So that becomes 1,027.5. Likewise, when we're going, oh, never mind, I'll do this one down here. So this one is greater than 500, so let's do that. We'll add the decimal and put a 9 out front. So 979.5. Okay. So you can do the next two. All right. So if it's less than 500, you stick a 10 out front. I'm going to change colors here mark this up. You put a 10 out front and you add the decimal. If it's greater than 500, you put a 9 out front and the decimal. Okay. Now to go reverse, you find the 9 or 10 and get rid of it and get rid of the decimal. Boom. So that one would be 9, 8, 9. Okay. So that's what you'll do on the station model as well. All right, now wind flags, okay? This is the little thing which has, you know, cloud cover in it. This is the station itself, and we have some wind flags here. Now let me go find the question here. Okay, so the first one says, okay, this is what we do. All right, if it's half a flag, half a feather on there, okay, that means five knots, which is a little over a mile per hour. If it's got a whole feather, um, it's ten. How do you tell the difference? The half feather, if it's by itself, is not at the end of the stick. The ten would be at the end of the stick. And then you can put those together to make ten, twenty-five. So that's twenty-five. Everything's rounded to the nearest five. Okay. Then when we get up to 50, we add a little flag. Okay, so this is 50 plus a 10 plus a 5 gives us 65. Okay, this always points the direction the wind comes from, and that's how we name it too. All right, so number one says winds from the north at 15 knots. Okay, boy, I should really pay attention to which way I have to scroll. Okay, from the north. Boom, at 15 knots, whole feather, half feather. Does it matter what side you put the feathers on? No. Okay, so 
do whatever comes naturally. Okay, so you can do the rest of those. Now we're going to get to the actual lab here because everything else is, is looking things up. Okay, and I'm going to do example A with you here. Okay, so let me find A. Why is this so out of order? Okay, so here's A. All right, so on A, we go through the reference table and see all these things. So this is temperature, dew point, visibility, the weather situation, barometric pressure, which we'll have to convert, the change in pressure, rainfall, wind, etc. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to move this down so it's right next to it. Okay. All right, so for this first one, okay, we have dry bulb, which is air temperature. So I went the wrong way. That is found right here if you look at the reference table. So that's 43 degrees Fahrenheit. We got to put units and stuff, so degrees F. Dew point. Why am I doing this wrong? Dew point, 38. And that is, if we look at the Fred, that's also in degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we got to find present weather. Okay. And that my friends, is this dot, okay? And if we look at Fred, donde esta el Fredo? There he is. Okay, if we look at Fred, a dot means rain. Okay. Okay, visibility is found right here. That's three quarters of a mile. Remember, we're putting units down for everything or we're losing points. Okay, now we got wind speed, wind direction. Okay, it's from the north at 25, 10, 25. So wind speed is 25, and that is in knots. Knots are a nautical term. I don't know why we we're using that, but that's what meteorologists do. And wind direction, it's named where it comes from. So that is the north. OK, precipitation in the last right here 0.17 it says there so that is in inches and barometric pressure and barometric trend okay so we now look how many times am I going to do that Okay, here's the barometric pressure, 973, and that's 5. Okay, 05. So, 973, is that what I said? Yes, 973. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll write that first, 973. there okay I'll keep that there all right so this number is greater than 500 so since it's greater than 500 we're gonna put a 9 out front add that decimal and the units would be millibars okay and for this one we add a decimal sorry do, 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 do. And that's going to be once again in millibars, which is 
which is a metric unit. All right, now cloud cover. That's this, okay? And they ain't nothing there. Okay, so that's clear skies. All right, now for bonus. All of these have something wrong with them, okay? And that something wrong is what your bonus is. So what is wrong in this one? We got 43 degrees, 38 for dew point. That's legit. We got rain. We got visibility at three quarters, okay? The farthest you could see is 11, all right? So if it's raining, that kind of makes sense. 25 knots, that's all right. North, tenth of a, uh, 0.17 inches of rain, that kind of makes sense. Uh, nice low pressure, which is where um, rain is going to occur at. And it changed a little bit, so that's no biggie. And then this says clear. If it's raining, why would the sky cover be clear? So that's our bonus here. Clear when raining. And my writing will be terrible using a mouse. So that's the bonus. Okay, so what you are going to do is B, C, D, and E. Okay, if you can't find the bonus, that's all right. Not, we haven't covered enough weather for you to get it all. Okay, so do your best. You know where to find me if in you's having some troubles. This will all end in tears. I just know it. Come on, come on, just stop! I told you this would all end in tears. That's all, folks.